anyone know what that is? I think I'm scared of some of this. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. Your bones are mine, guardians of the galaxy. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Keep hiking, trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. We got this. It's no fall and we'll be fine. Space Lady Hellbender's Rage head on! Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your w- <laughs> oh, That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! Might be more dangerous than I thought. Oh, you 
We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our guys. Are you good? Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. We'll be wary, Rodin. Eh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Bit. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. here looks like we are outside lady hellbender's sanctuary the creatures here are not her pets they sort of do look like food we're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here where the flark is she going no spells shoot stuff or it's the living. having fun didn't think i'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than bloody terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk. I'm going to get ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. What the floor? That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. If you see anything with claws inside the tracks, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. What about her sister, Nebula? Hmm. 
I forgot about the blue harlot spawn. Say the word harlot again, and my knife will. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. Right, right. That too. Uh, dead end. That's just right. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking dogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. Atari Tech doing on a backwater mud wall like this. Perhaps Lady Helen would smell the native swamp. She was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bugs. Ridiculous. Wow! It is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster Planet. Right. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. My problem hey, is me. I found more ruins down here. Clip. You are overreacting. Relax. I did not throw this. You. Indeed. Only because Quill stopped you. Then there should be no problem. Well, this looks I'm promising. You. you can tap the psychopath. I may have angered them. All right, let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a skull. Wait, hear that? Rise oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> These things are pissed and deadly. Let's be focused. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Just look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? All right, more. Pretty sure it's this way. Fifty units says it ain't. No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. Ha! <laughs> that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Helbin feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an 
old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitauri infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. We even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Here. No! Just thinking someone else should cross the death. Just go. No! You just someone go! go! Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. Groot says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move! Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Right, guys, anyone know what that is? Running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. Let's settle. Let's scale this down. Yeah. Okay. How do we do that? Good question. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Done in record time. So, where are we? Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodents' lies. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. You see anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right, pretty 
pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Here's good. Done. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. What next, Peter Quill? Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories! See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure! Ha! It is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Looks like there's a way down here! Quill! You gotta see this ship! Behold Lady Hellbender's wrath! Even the Chitauri feared her! They didn't fear many back then! <laughs> okay, here we go! <sighs> oh! Slimy! Guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Uh, you think? Son of a Reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Clark, Clark, Clark. Quill. Quill. Glasses, they only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls Scott like this. Just, could you, just please let me, the wall. Let me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA coding kind of morphing animal sorcery. Here we go again. Up and over. Ding 
ding ding. Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. The planetoid. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I, I cannot hold it. I did it. Impressive, King Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shikari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shikari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what, Larkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yep. And dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great. Whoa! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you are dead! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. Let's be a lesson to you, rodent. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks. Stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Ugh. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the flark? Not talking. <gasps> Not even breathing. I wonder if there's a common monster hunter uniform. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax. Can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. That is disturbingly fragrant. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? We can use this. You know, we really got monster gotta food. Your taste, but the cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our. Their monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? 
Why are you whispering? Don't uh, the tentacle thing. Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem oh, is, there's a pissed off monster that inside. That Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Coming with me. We better hurry. Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet. You hate everything, Rocket. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the Monster Queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill, better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's not... Don't worry, Rocket. Whoa, that is definitely my top ten fortresses. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. All because of one lousy source. <sighs> Groot. Groot's right. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we'd been towing that thing when Novacor intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. 
Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Let's just get this done. An infinity bridge is what it is. Ah, uh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting a flark and things looking like we mean business. Group. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. The bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Response good to soothe and tones. Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. More for the love of Lark. Stop counting clicks. We could enumerate all the ways in which our flag is like fair. Quietly. Hey, birthday boy. No wonder you could hear me. Is that you? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? If you don't hurry, I'm going to eat that whole cake myself. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up.
Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know, I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Oh, somebody's got a girlfriend. Is it Janie? Oh, yes. It's not Janie. She is so smart. Love Janie. Okay, I'm just teasing. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were- Standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Jealous, my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woolberry. And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else. Can you explain that again? Oh, 
After we sell him, we sneak back in and use my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Oh yeah, that. Easy peasy. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is, you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. Alright, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen Orthos team. I have seen one trample them at the Pope. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand correct. Those ain't fair. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell it. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! What's the matter, Rocket? Getting cold feet? No, it's fine. If I can track Star Nuts, I can track you. Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot warm sort of thing. You mean hot cold, right? What? The Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's... Surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's competence. Spare me your empty. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not blame me for your fool. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. Got this.
Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of you. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite... forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just... play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarv 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. A flora colossus. I thought your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? <sighs> I mean... Then you're an idiot, lady. Groot, he's the best monster you could buy. Either you pay us what he's worth. Hey there, hi, Star-Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. 10,000 units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. Don't you think 10,000 is a more reasonable amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> he's, he is just... Kidding. 10,000 units and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough! If I wished to hear Kerr's whine, I'd visit the feeding pens. <sighs> 9,000 units for the Flora Colossus Destroyer. 9,537. For the cage. Deal. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you.
You were flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. They're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. So my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, it doesn't rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work hard, play hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare in scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I will show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm. Quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. That's not what I said. Come on, you were thinking it. She was practically begging for a night with the big galoot. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Katathians do not date. Perform feats of virility and are judged worthy. Or not. That how you ended up with your wife? Uvat was the most proficient killer in our village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? Paid, stolen, such ugly words. I prefer liberated. I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time on Ansara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Before your days, Muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. Admit it. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying. Have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good, or am I good? Those were the same options. Okay. Tracker says... Ah, come on, you skank. I knew that thing was junk. We saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Of course she can't just have a normal friggin' ground level chair. Drax, think you could lift this thing? Easily. What do you want me to do with it? Still working on that. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. You sure that tracker is fixed? Think you could have made more noise with that? There's an access panel or something back here. Perfect. Maybe I could just hotwire the DAS thing. Signorfian night air is refreshing. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, here? Done. 
Whoops. Must be sick in our soothing sounds, volume two. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Switch this. Done. This one. Oh, here. Yep. Okay, Rocket, did that work? It's half powered, but I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There's got to be a second node. Okay. And here? Got it. Switch this. Done. This one. Oh, here. Yep. What okay, the here. Was that? Uh, just a little slip. No big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Nah. Probably just lowered a height a bit or something. And here. Got it. There. Keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. Better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Rude went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. I'm mostly sure. This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. Kinda nice for a change. Please. You'd get bored if it was all smooth sailing. Remember the cargo run for the Hanchi? I remember you nearly jumping us into a black hole. Here's my point. The exciting bits are what stick with you. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Just heads up, more guards. I'll give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark! Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You ain't sure he's stuck. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. After freeing the tree. No, he wouldn't. Maybe we should hurry up. Imagine the headache these guys will have when they wake up. Let's just make sure we're not here when that happens. Not wait. Thanks, Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Like a snot monster covered in pimples. Sounds like a teenager. Jeez, what sort of creature is bad enough that even Hellbender keeps it in the cage? Nope. Nope, don't do spiders, snakes, or weird tentacle things. Did you sleep with a weird tentacle thing? Jillian was not weird. Huh. I'm not seeing any breeding pairs. Maybe she keeps them separate. Any Hellbender would not sell her collection of duplicates. You saw the Warthos. This is no collection. She's amassing an army. 
No telling how many creatures she's tamed. Oh. It's okay. We're here, bud. Hey, I got him. Group, easy there, bud. I'll get you out in the flat. Whoa, hey. Let's not turn him into Kinley. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Oh, that dashed witch script you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, that's what we was. Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is... A Exit. Uh, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen has, I don't know. Traumatized him. Exactly. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. She did do something to that Taratara. So no one's gonna talk about the fact that he's walking around naked. Hey, come on, talk to me, bud. Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them! Right, 
Crowd control! Don't forget about the big one! And beware the spines for truth! Don't have to tell me twice! Rah! Dad! I got all these toys! I'm just dying for you! Whose idea was to connect these sharp on the inside? Go! Get them! Destroy that mine! What? No! Keep them busy, crew! Rocket! Blast them! Come on, you overgrown octopus! Just give me an opening! I will end you! <laughs> I commend your effort, Lady Hellbender!
no time to celebrate. We have made an awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? Hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Scott? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree, tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot, you got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 one problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge, mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No. I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? I really There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone, I sunk aboard, and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. God, I didn't know the Raker said it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. <laughs> yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. I can bring her back. I didn't know that. I just have to... Ah! 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 Just an array. Just an array? Look at it, Quill. Where am I gonna get the parts to fix that? It's flarked! I told you it was a mistake to keep that thing. But did you listen to me? Oh, no, no, no! We don't listen to Rocket! He just has to fix the freaking ship! I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scud about the Milano. Look, guys, we need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on nowhere has got the parts we need, and he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. The behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <sighs> Sounds like Groot's got that toothy bastard under control. Better not come back here and try to finish chewing through my ship! Gamora, did you find... <gasps> Are those... dolls? Yes! No. It doesn't matter. The Halos Hope's in the Teo system. Coordinates are in your console. So... Why'd you close the view screen? None of your business. Isn't it, though? Sounds like you're trying to hide something from us. Yes. I am. Okay. 
Okay, you put it that way. So you said Corral's in the Teo system. Any idea what's out there? It looks like her ship is docked at a Novacore station called The Rock. Wow. Do they have another one named the Jazz? I don't think so. Thankfully, the docking procedure is automated at the station. No need to wait for Rocket to fix the comms. Okay, Corel, get ready to be impressed. Time's ticking away, Peter. Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Hallis Hope. Well, he's the one who keeps crashing. All right, let's pay that fine. So, after we get out of here... You mean, if we get out of here? I know someone who could set us up with a relatively lucrative contract. I will not assassinate anyone. Yeah, I ain't sneaking around no rich Flarker's mansion to poison his dinner or something. I was going to explain how we could land a cattle herding contract with our llama experience. Absolutely not! Rocket'll come around, just try not to eat anything else, okay? Ready to pay our fine? I am Groot. Even Groot can see you're here for some blueberry pie. I'm going on the record that I don't want to be here, and that being here is a mistake. You ever been to the Rock before? Yeah, looks like every other Novacore station. This reminds me of when I surrendered to the authorities. What was it like? Liberating. Okay, here we go. If they so much as scratched her paints, we get Novacore to reduce our fine. Good luck with that. It's gross negligence. Negligence. That's what I said. Where is everybody? Most Nova stations are heavily automated, all synchronized by the world mind. It is unsettling. Not like they had much choice after the war. M ship, designation Milano. Move whoa, to holding whoa, space R seven three four L. Present validated ticket to kiosk prior to departure. What ticket? How the fuck are we supposed to get off this rock? Just moving it. Relax, rocket. It's standard procedure. You keep saying that. This isn't exactly my first Novacore find. Yours either. First time I'm paying one. Flarkin knew I should have stayed on board. Come oh, on. I won't let anything happen to my ship. My ship. And you just did. I mean anything bad. Trust me. That's what you said about your cop girlfriend. supposed to be this empty. Is it a holiday? Space cops don't take holidays. Hello? We're here to pay a fine? Looking for Centurion Corral? 
Doors locked. Well, we tried. Come on, let's go. We're not leaving. We'll go to them if we have to. Look, the door controls are on the other side if we can get you there. So what, now I'm supposed to hack Novacore security? I mean, if you don't think you can... Cheap shot, Quill. Yep, it's locked. Thanks for taking my work. Thirsty big guy? This machine appears to be inoperable. Maybe they're just all out of your flavor. Ain't this the way? Never a space cop when you need one. Perhaps we simply need to wait our turn. Highly doubt it. All right, there's an air duct in here. Could be a way in, Rocket. Could, sure. Or maybe it drops down into the hangar. Think you can squeeze through this vent? If you can get it open, I ain't that flexible. Perhaps this is a test. I don't like it. We really do need to get that door open. There! One open air duct. Now we have damaged Novacore property. Yeah, just a little. All right, Rocket. See if this vent leads into that other room. And be careful. You know, I still don't love this whole pay or fine plan. Huh. There's something screwy with the power grid. It's like they're on backup only. I'm patching you through. You know the drill. Tell me which circuits to switch. We can only reroute power to so many things at once. On it! We'll find out. This thing's got false positives all over the place. I'll have to do a relay. Is that supposed to mean anything to us? No. I just wanted you to know how difficult it is. Watch and learn! Hey! I think I can set off the sprinklers from this thing! Does that help? Presto! What out? You know, ta-da! Is conspicuously silent. Good point. Hey, Nova! We want to pay our fine and get your Katrakan tracker off my ship! Shh. What? Shh. I thought we wanted to find someone. The Moore's right. Oh. Keep it down, Rocket. Something's off. Exactly why we should get to the Milano and go. As soon as we've paid our fine, we need to get rid of that Nova tracker. There's more than one way to shake a tail. Someone out there? Rodent is most qualified to speak on tails. There. You hear that? Uh, hey there. You are Nova? What gave it away? Hey, jumpsuit. You gotta get me out of here. I don't belong in a cage. Novacore begs to differ. Well, no one asked you, scary eyes. We should not be aiding and abetting a criminal. Weren't you a Novacore prisoner? Indeed, and I served my time. You all seem real high and mighty for a bunch of folk in a restricted area. What are you in for? What? Nothing. Case of mistaken identity. They mistook me for someone who gave a crap. Ooh, I like him. And back at you, weasel. So how about helping a guy out? See if there's a door release or something. Just look around. Oh, hey, what'd you do? Uh... Hey, where am I going? What's happening? Wonder where it took him. Furnace. Congrats, Quill. You just executed your first prisoner. That seems improbable. can be uninhabited. It's not uninhabited. It is inhabited by robots. I like it better this way. Maybe we just send him back to his cell. Like, that was the visitor. You! Hey, hey buddy. Ah! Uh, oh, hey! Oh, what now? I got rights! Now this place brings back memories. Did you once serve with the Nova Corps, Peter Quill? What? No! But I had to stand in a lineup once, maybe twice. <clears throat> anyway, good to be on this side of the glass. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, 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 one. Nope. 
Whoa, that guy was serious business. Well, now he's seriously someone else's business. Assuming that's the last we see of him. What are you doing? I figured as long as we're here, I may as well try and dig up some juicy Nova secrets. Maybe they even got a bead on Gamora's bluer half. Not likely. What's that? Nothing. Getting a real haunted mansion vibe from this place. And none of that screams run away to you? Ugh, elevator's out. But the shaft above looks open. We can use it to climb up there. You expect us to walk on that thing? It'll hold more than the five of us. Please don't fall, please don't fall. Oh, crap! <laughs> okay. Piece of cake. <laughs> Simply not for real. Can I try one? <laughs> if you want to get fried to a puddle of goo, each one is gene coded by the world mind. Are you saying the world mind has the genetic code of every Nova Centurion? Yup. Word is the bugs tried to use that against them in the war, but that's one supercomputer you can't have. Believe me, I tried. This looks like the only way forward. Are you? Ah! No wonder the doors all torqued out. The rotor won't stop spinning. All right, let's hope that holds. How come this one gets its own room? Looks like a workshop. You know, I hear they anodize these things with some kind of Zendarian smart metal. Metal cannot be smart. Smarter than some. Suits would go for on the black market. Don't even think about it. More nothing. There's got to be an explanation. The House Hope is a capital ship. Maybe they're all there for some reason. Or maybe this whole place is contaminated with Vormerian pox. I am experiencing a mild itching sensation. Yeah, and I got a real pain in my ass. Rocket, do your magic. No. What? I said no. When are you going to come to your senses, Quill? I am and then what? He's gonna drag us halfway through this station if we let him. Okay. We try one more room, and if we still haven't found anything, we leave. Deal? Fine. One more room, not two. One. Ships. I heard they got uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a far? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Uh, hey there. Is this thing on? We're, uh, we're looking for Centurion Corel. Who is we? We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We were supposed to meet Centurion Corel to pay a fine. Hello, Guardians of the 
galaxy. I would be more than happy to assist you today. Where are you now? We're, uh, in some sort of monitoring station. Understood. Stay where you are. We will come to you. Well, what did they say? They're coming to us. Ah, it's about Flark and time. Where's Centurion Corel? Have faith. She is not with us at this time. Have faith? Really? Anyone else seeing a purple glow around these guys? I do not trust them. If there's an alternative plan, now may be the time to execute it. I am Groot. Come. All will be made clear. Once you experience the promise. Her divine promise. Actually, we're good. Super good. We'll, uh, we'll just get out of your hair and mail in the fine. Don't worry about it. Or we could do that. Reflect well on our fine. I don't see that matters now. With that door, Flark, we gotta go out the way they came in. Let's just find Corral. I'm sure she'll know what's going on. Yeah, if she don't try and kill us like the last lot. No way. Not Corral. Oh, Looks like a standoff. Was a standoff. Not good. Flark. Nova killing Nova. Which side won? Oh, there's your answer. Oh man, this is bad. We're sitting down. I will not stand here and wait to die. None of us got a whole lot of oh! choice. Fork and Meathead, nice knowing you. Here has everyone gone nuts. Oh! Bend your knees when you land. Can you handle that many? Not much we can do about it. Capris, hear me. Long have I cried. 
crave to win a battle like this, Peter Quill. Order the others to stand down so that I may finish it alone. Uh, no. If anyone's gonna win this alone, it'll be me and my blade. Dudes, we're talking about fighting alone. We're a team. We fight better together. Because out on that field, it's all for one and one for all. And that's exactly how we win this time. Who's with me? No! Bring it on! Time the to... I think our fine will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corell's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket, the only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right! It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me! Come on! Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell. I prefer the rodent's plan. So tried. How long do I have to listen to you two squabbling? We're not squabbling, we're just disagreeing loudly. Besides, he started it. Rocket, come on! You come on! I told you we should have left! And we are! I'm on board! Let's find the Milano and- Intruders reported in the repair bay! And try not to die in the process! First sensible thing you said, all cycle! Intruders in Just asking! Uh, we came back! Uh, 
Another crazed Novacore soldier down! Had to be done! Uh. This is not where I thought this day was going. Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? More up than this. Never thought I'd be fighting Nova Corps again. They are no longer Nova Corps. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? Hey, we can get through here. <laughs> You'll fit. Just suck it in. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. <laughs> Look. Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He was a sorcerer. Behold the magic flow to the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova? No fine. No problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. Nice to see you listening for a change. You cannot see listening. Don't you start with me, Muscles. You're still mostly in my good books. So, you think? Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's going to go! Purge the faithless! I wasn't second-guessing, I'm just- Sure. These doors have been barricaded. 
means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good it did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope. Were we in the same elevator? Those Nova barely got a shot off before they were gunned down by them glowy ones. I think Rocket's right. Don't patronize me. I wasn't. You're just trying to make nice, now that this whole thing has gone to scut. You didn't listen to me about selling crew. Uh, is that? Let's just pretend we didn't see that. So, let's flark and go already. Here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73 4 PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, muscles. <laughs> no, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4 PL. Done. All right. Bay is clear. Extending catwalks. And. Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up, but you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. None can escape her life. Focus on the clamps, Peter. We'll try to keep them off you. One down! Are you making There's another one! Blue. All right, I'm hooked into the Milano system. Where's my tunes? I got your scutting terror music. We've got more incoming. Whatever their deal is, these guys are no slouches. Almost like field on the court. Oh, wow. A sneak out there. I knew it'd grow on you! How's it going in there, Rocket? You just worry about the plan! If you have any left for another Ruth, man down! Oh! <laughs> 